everyone, this is Corey with Camera Coach. Thanks for joining again. Um, and for this episode, we are going to key in on something really, really simple. And um, we're going to talk about the age old question of JPEG versus RAW. So if you've been taking pictures, digital pictures for, for a while now, I'm sure you've come across this conversation, if not once, several times. Um, and in my personal opinion, there's no one right answer to this. Okay, so let's talk really quickly about what a JPEG and what a RAW file is. A JPEG file is quite simply just a compressed file. Your camera takes the picture, it weeds out some information that seems maybe repetitive, right, to give you a smaller file size so it can take more pictures and not bog up so much space. Um, now the RAW file is the opposite of that where your camera takes the picture and says, hey, here's the full thing, it's got all the data there and you do whatever you want with it. The two things to consider uh, when, it, when you're trying to answer this question of JPEG or RAW, when you're taking photos, is number one, storage space. Okay, so you've got to consider that. Um, and number two, the end use. Really, I say one and two, but they're, they're they kind of work together. And so let's talk about end use. If you're really just using this for something that's personal and you're sending it to family uh, or just posting to social media, and those sorts of things, you don't need to print it really large well then there's no need to go to a raw format because you're going to get a really large file size and then you've got to scale it down anyway uh, so you're really just adding more work um, and you're also putting something larger on your computer and all these pictures are going to add up and that leads to the storage aspect all right after you talk about the end use uh, really the next thing when you're dealing with okay do i go jpeg or raw is storage okay and so your memory cards have a certain amount of storage uh, most of these are 16 gig cards and so you'll fill up those cards really fast if you're shooting in RAW. And so there are uses, there are times where the RAW format is actually beneficial. For me, when I do portrait photo shoots or if I do a wedding, I'm going to use a higher quality format because I may need to have something printed larger or be able to crop in and still have a good quality when I crop half of the photo out. Uh, and so that's one of the things that RAW will give you is that capability. RAW will also give you the capability to color correct on your own. It won't do color corrections in camera. Uh, it will actually give you just a blank slate and you kind of go from there. Um, and so there are some positives and negatives to both sides. Again, it's really just you thinking through the process and deciding what's the better fit for your, uh, your use at that time. All right, so that's it. I know there's a lot more that feeds into this conversation, but I wanted to speak a little bit into it um, because I know it's a common thing, a common concept and, and a common conversation. Okay, well, if it was helpful, please subscribe uh, and like and share it with anyone else that you feel would benefit. Uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking with us. And uh, you can also check out our website or, or social media if you would like to connect a little bit further. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Send us a comment of anything else you'd like us to cover, okay? All right, this is Corey signing off. Have a great day.